there, this is Lindsay with Off the Beaten Hook. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a chainless foundation half double crochet. And basically what this does is it creates your foundation chain and your first row of half double crochet at the same time. In my tutorial on how to do this with a row of single crochet, um, the, the chainless foundation single crochet, I talk about how this technique has completely revolutionized my crochet life or did when I first found out about it. So I won't go into that again and about my woes of crocheting into a foundation chain, but I just love that this saves time. I love the, um, the more uh, springy texture that it creates and you are, are uh, avoiding having to do basically two rows, you're doing them both at the same time. So in this tutorial, we're going to go for the half double crochet. I'm going to begin by slip knot onto my hook and chaining two. One, two. So you're going to skip that first chain from your hook and you're going to begin by going into the second chain from the hook. So just like you would with the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over first and then you're going to insert into that chain. Okay, yarn over, pull up a loop. And now you're looking like, oh, this is how you do a half double crochet where you would yarn over and pull it through all three loops on the hook. But what you're going to do here is you're going to, you are going to yarn over, but you're only gonna pull it through that very first loop on the hook to begin. And what you just did, which you'll see kind of as we go along, is you just created your first chain underneath here, okay? And then to complete this step, you're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull through all three loops on the hook, just like you would be doing a half double crochet. And that is creating your first stitch. Okay, so we'll look at it a little longer in a minute here when we get a couple. But what you're gonna be doing is you're, for lack of a better way of um, describing this, you're sort of, and this would be kind of right side up for your project. You're gonna be kind of working it upside down because you're working into the chains that you're creating. So you can see this little V that you just created for your first chain. You're gonna put your hook back underneath those two strands here. So we're gonna yarn over first, then we're going to insert into those two strands, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have the three on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna pull it through that very first loop, creating another chain on the bottom. Yarn over, pulling it through the three remainder, creating your second half double crochet. Okay, so let's carry on. So we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna insert it into this next V that we just made. Picking up both of those strands. Yarn over, pulling it up. Yarn over, pull it through the first loop. Yarn over, pulling through all three. Okay, so we've got got it coming along here so you can see how you've got your little chain on the bottom here I can grab hold of it and then you've got your first three half double crochet being made all right so let's carry on and get a few more so you can see how this comes together I'm gonna pick up the pace just a little bit pull through one loop pull through all three okay back again looking at the bottom here it's coming together nicely Yarning over, push it under those two, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, one loop, yarn over, three loops. And do a couple more with you here. I'll take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, for the one more, yarn over, inserting it underneath those two. Underneath, yarn over, pull up, yarn over one, yarn over all three. So let's take a look at this. Here you have it. You have your half double crochet chainless foundation 
where you just quickly made your foundation chain on the bottom and your row of stitches on the top all at the same time. Just amazing. Just remember that you only have to do exactly the number of stitches that your pattern calls for since you, you don't need extra turning chains along that foundation at all because you're not doing the chain and then doing your turning chain and coming back the other way. You just need exactly, if your pattern calls for 10 half double crochet, you're gonna go straight in and just do 10 of these. You can count them right on top like you normally would. So there you have it. Chainless foundation, half double crochet, don't forget to join our website offthebeatenhook.com for lots of free patterns, video tutorials, and tons of downloadable essential crochet resources. Happy hooking!